Welcome back. We're here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, May 10th, 2021. If you'd like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So, uh, yes, we had a really rough day in the market today. Especially bond market, US dollar index took a massive hit while everything else rallied. So main reason for this is because U.S. Um, jobs numbers were absolutely terrible or they were much worse than expected. People were expecting really uh, good jobs number in the unemployment to basically do decrease and actually increased. And uh, therefore, the fear of um, increasing interest rates and uh, slowing down with quantitative easing and so on, that has just gone out the window. Uh, current monetary policy will most likely continue, meaning that interest rates will stay low and, uh, well, the Federal Reserve will continue with its quantitative easing, technically flooding the market with liquidity um, and uh, weakening the dollar in the, in the process. So stocks indices will most likely increase and uh, commodities and so on that are, are valued in the US dollar, they will most likely continue to increase. If you look at the US dollar, we are approaching the bottom of the bullish band. We broke the previous lows here. We are going to head towards these previous lows, which is at uh, 89.68, and then the very lows here all the way back from the beginning of 2021. So technically have all turned around. We may see a pullback on Monday before going lower, but still, if monetary policy will continue as it is, uh, then we'll almost certainly see a weaker dollar. And of course, um, that will be uh, quite bullish for everything else. So let's look at oil. So oil is pulling back. It ran into resistant here at the top of the bullish band and it's pulling back towards the middle of the bullish band. We did uh, rally at the end of the session. Uh, but uh, technical indicators are turning around. So we may see a period of very slow decline and then continue up. And target here will mostly be the previous highs at the 67.8. After at that, 270. That is, uh, looks like where this market is going. There is, uh, every single time it basically breaks down, it uh, it is bought into and uh, it just continues increasing targets for major banks and so on is basically 70 and above 70. So uh, that is most likely where we're heading in the long run, but probably the next month or two. If you look at technical indicators, they are all turning around except for the MACD, which is just flat at this current stage. So let's look at the NASDAQ. NASDAQ, I'm sorry, natural gas. Yes, natural gas is... Um, trading in a very tight range here and has been for quite some time so basically very lows here and the highs here and uh, if we manage to break above three dollars then we are most likely going to test the previous highs over here which is 3.09 if we break down from here then the 20 exponential has offered resistance in the support in the past if that breaks then we can go to the 50. If you look at technical indicators, they are fairly flat. MACD is still bullish, but it's becoming rounding off here. Stochastic is, uh, well, technically flat, has crossed the signal line, but it's flat at this point. CCI is flat, and the RSI is flat as well. We are on the edge of being overbought, so pullbacks at this point should not be that, uh, that strange. Uh, but we are in uptrend and uh, fairly surprising for this time of year. So let's look at copper. So copper just defies all odds, but um, but news has it that there is a shortage of copper in technically in the world. And when there is a, sh a shortage of a metal, then it will just completely, uh, it will basically just shoot up near. This is one of the most important metal there is out there. And uh, when everything now starts again and so on, and there's a, uh, there's a um, uh, supply shortage, then prices will go at, um, astronomical. 
it probably will target five at this current stage. Pullbacks at this point should be expected. We are on the edge uh, of the Bollinger Band here. We're up nearly 3% today. And uh, if you look at the RSI, it's at 76. Technical indicators otherwise are very bullish. So it may take a long time before we break down. It doesn't mean that we'll break down on Monday because you can see here outside, outside, outside. But uh, when you get to the top, it is always a warning that it could break down. So let's look at gold. So gold did rally all the way up nearly to the 200 moving average and then gave most of those gains back. We are still fairly overstretched on the edge of being our bot, but a massive move this week from the middle of the bullish band at 1768 all the way up towards 1842. Fan Fantastic move the last three uh, trading days, but uh, 200 moving average is holding still. Pullbacks should be expected in next week before going testing the 200 moving average again. A break above that opens the door to 1900 and then all the way up to 2000 and beyond that. Taking indicators are very bullish at this current stage. So let's look at silver. So silver also the very nice run uh, rally yesterday and the same goes for today. We did rally up towards 27.6 and then gave most of those gains back. We are also on the edge of being overbought. Technically, otherwise are very bullish and we are very overstretched in the bullish band. So pullbacks will most likely find major support down here at 26.22. Target here will probably be the previous highs up here at 28.3 and then all the way up to $30. So let's look at Platinum. So Platinum has tested the top of the bullish band yet again and then broken down. So it's a very tight range and technically really boring to trade. Uh, we are most likely going to see a pullback towards the bottom as this has rallied to the top, broken down, rallied, broke down, rally. And it looks like that is the pattern that we're going to see. Not a massive movement to the upside or downside, but gradually grinding towards 1300. So technical indicators are still very bullish or gradually bullish, you can say like that. So let's look at Pallium. So Pallium has done what I expected it to do. It has fallen to support and then rallied. This probably won't be the last time we'll see this testing the 20 exponential moving average, but this rally here got way out of hand. We got significantly overstretched and overbought. And when that happens, it snaps back to support. In this case, it is the 20 exponential or the middle of the bullish band. We got fairly oversold here, but you can see in the past that we have bounced from all of these areas. And yet again, we are trading above the 20 exponential, but on Monday, probably on Tuesday and so on, we'll probably test the 20 exponential again, hover around here and stabilize and then continue higher if we are going higher. Trending underneath the 20 exponential could leave open the door to the 50 moving average down here at 26.44. So let's look at aluminium. Well, metal, uh, metal I did trade today. So um, yes, I did make a short here, but uh, it was fairly resistant. I do expect this to pull back towards the middle of the bullish band as this is significantly overstretched, significantly overbought, and it's just a matter of time before this pulls back. So it was short trade because there the contract basically is over on on uh, Monday, at least here on the is over on Monday. So. Probably enter this again on Monday. But major support should be down here at the middle of the bullish band at 23.71 before continuing higher. We are in uptrend and we're just getting way ahead of ourselves. As we have done several times in the past, it has pulled back every single time. So that's expectations. So let's look at nickel. So nickel continues to rally and um, we have not seen the pullback that I have expected for this. We have been rallying from the 200 moving average constantly for the last two weeks. We are on the edge of being overbought and we have the crossing here of the moving averages indicating that this will basically continue higher. But pullbacks towards the 20 exponential is what I am waiting for for this market. One of the target here will most likely be 20,000. 
So let's look at sugar. Yes, it is very mixed. Nothing really happened today. Um, we did rally yesterday, broke down, and now it looks like we're heading back towards the middle of the bullish band, which was major, uh, major support over here. If you look at technical indicators, they are either flat or becoming bearish at this point. So, yes, it is hanging in the middle of nowhere. It's just a, a thing that to stay far away from because it can go up, it can go down, and therefore it becomes a complete gamble. So let's look at cotton. So cotton rallied yesterday and broke down yet again today. We're, it looks like we're going to retest the 20 exponential moving average. And uh, these previous highs here look like they are going to act as major resistant. If you look at technical indicators, the RSI is bearish, the CCI is bullish still, the stochastic is bullish, and the MACD is bullish still. So pullbacks towards the 20, that will most likely be major support. Break below that, opens the door to the 50, but this is probably as far as this will go to the upside. The highest here over here at 0 0.90, uh, 92 will mostly be major uh, resistant. So let's look at Kakoa. So Kakoa has rallied yet again today, and now we're trading at uh, the 50 moving average. So I usually say this every single day it is a completely hopeless market to trade. You have these massive breakdowns, massive rallies, and yes, there's no coherent trend whatsoever. This was easy to trade, this was easy to trade, and same for most of these falls here. But recently, it's just been going sideways, and it has been all over the place, and I would stay far, far away from this. If we were to break above the 50, we can have the 200 above, and we can get, just get absolutely slaughtered there and just get sold back to the very lows. So... Let's look at wheat. So wheat continues to rally. We're trading at 762. Uh, technical indicators are very bullish, but we are significantly overbought. And we are also approaching the top of the bullish band and also the previous highs here. We'll probably go all the way up towards the top, but pullbacks from here will mostly find major support at the 20 exponential, as this was also uh, the previous highs over here so that is at 707 and just above 700 so that is probably as far as this will go if it were to break down otherwise target long term is 1800 so hope is uh, hope you find this helpful you're willing to support job by subscribing hit the like button and bell button to see our new videos and you're welcome to join us over at patreon the link is down below good luck and good weekend